Babylon Pop TV, and we are sitting here somewhere in Toronto, and we're here with Lexi Tellings. Hey, Lexi. Hi. Hi, Billy. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Toronto. So where where did you come from? Like, uh, as not geographically speaking, but um, creatively, what what um, made you want to come up into this this genre specifically? Well. Um, I've always had a love for pop music. I mean, I grew up listening to Blondie and Cyndi Lauper, so, you know, girls just want to have fun sort of deal. Almost like a pop punk, the early days of pop yeah, punk. Yeah, exactly. So that was kind of my early introduction to music. So I just have always grown up with a love cool. for pop. Um, and then, I don't know, I just kind of, when I was younger, I really wanted to be a singer. I was going to ask you, how I, old were you when you first kind of yeah, said to my, yourself, you know, well, I'd say I was probably like five years old when I first thought, um, hey, this would be fun. I wonder if I could do that for a living. And then I found out the people did. And, and then, did you like yeah. the, when people watched you? You know, it's, it's, yeah, it's um, the performance. Are you one of those people that really like? Because when I performed, I really, I really love that energy of the live thing because yeah. the, the energy of the people. So I was a really shy kid. Really. So I used to sing nonstop when I was little, and then as soon as somebody walked in the room, I'd clam right up and be like. <laughs> that wasn't me. That was the TV. They have to sit <laughs> so, behind you. <laughs> yeah, it's like getting me to come out of my shell was a big thing, and my mom used to send me to auditions all the time. For a pop act, is there is there a lot of venues and a lot of places that that you'll be able to to book into? It's gonna be different trying to get shows because um, what my show is basically like a 15 minute long little sort of dance pop routine, right. so um, like just a, like an introductory to who I am as sure. a character overall. Just and I know you've, yeah. you've, you've been um, uh, classically trained in opera as mm -hmm. well, is, is, that, uh, is that something you think uh, has helped you? Um, I know musically it's a lot different, but just the training involved in opera has got to be extensive, so. It is. Um, well, being trained in opera, I wasn't allowed to use a microphone ever. So I can predict Dang. to the back. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm out. <laughs> uh, I can predict like to the back of a church, I like a it, huge yeah. room, um, and I would not need a microphone at all. And then going into pop music, where you are allowed to have a microphone. Um, but it's such had, an energetic genre. That's yeah, got to be helpful to you to have it, that stored energy and that vocal yeah. strength. Yeah, exactly. and that's and that's and that's one like we were discussing earlier, um, the benefit that you would have over people that don't have that background and don't have that training, and a lot of them, as we were discussing, yeah. uh, live-wise, they really don't measure up to their to their studio-produced album yeah. because they don't have that technical type of strength in their training to pull them through. So that's going to really benefit you, I think, on the live circuit. I think so too, yeah. Um, my one thing that my coach and I always work on is being able to deliver live because it is so important right now. And like you were talking about earlier is that it's it's probably the single most important thing with the oversaturation yeah. of bands out there because of Facebook. And the social network thing is, I mean, you have your, your, your good and your bad of it. The good is that you do get to promote yourself. and and a cost-effective way of getting your name out there, but mm -hmm. also you get the oversaturation of everybody in the world wanting to be in a band and have a band yeah. page. So to get taken seriously and to rise above that hue, you've got to be doing little things different. Yeah. But one of the things you do differently is you have that 
that background and that talent. You know what I mean? That's going to pop up above the people that don't. Yeah. You know, and people are going to notice that for sure they are. Exactly. Because if the they're smart, thing. they are. <laughs> well, the one thing in the pop world that you want to avoid is people going, oh, she's just another pop singer. Yeah. She isn't actually, she can't do that. Or she's trying <laughs> she's to be like, yeah, you know what I mean? But I don't want to be stereotyped. In, in invariably, anyway. you're going to get that comparison, though. You of know course. I mean? it's, it's because. Yeah. A lot of people just want to automatically attach you to something or think mm -hmm. that you're attaching yourself to something before, you know, understanding what your own yeah. music and your own expression is. But no, it's And good. it's hard, I mean, there's only so many things you can do differently as far as stage performance goes, you know, yeah. so invariably there's going to be things that are similar, so you're going to get that, but it's putting your own stamp on it, I think that's important, mm -hmm. being able to be unique enough in that presentation that you stand out in people's minds, either through talent or some people do it with lots of feathers, but, you know, if you can do it with talent, that's so much better because <laughs> your staying power, you know, is going to be so much more and your, yeah. your credibility is going to be a lot higher, so. Of course. So, um, the future, what are we doing in the future? What's, uh, what's on the horizon? Well, um, right now I'm working on finishing my EP and um, we're going to be releasing that in the springtime. I'm also working on my live show, so we have dance rehearsals every Sunday and awesome. it's Lots of fun getting together and just working in the studio. So most of you are familiar with her uh, video Nirvana, which has uh, gotten some really good airplay um, on the internet. Uh, let's talk a little bit about that. Nirvana. Um, How was it making it? Well, Nirvana, uh, the video shoot, it was a lot of fun. Um, we had the bar after hours, so we started filming at 2.30 in the morning, and uh, we finished at 5 o'clock in the afternoon the next day. So. Um, naturally, it was like 48 hours of no sleep. <laughs> um, it was lots of fun. Though. Now, did, did you know what to expect going in? Did anybody warn you about all the playbacks and about all the no. reshoots? And in your mind, were you thinking, wait a minute, that was good. Why do we have to do it 12 more times? Yep, yeah. there was a lot of that going on. <laughs> um, it was Overall, it was one of those experiences that um, I, you know, I couldn't really eat too much food because I didn't want to look bloated in my dress, so, <laughs> yes, I am, <laughs> so I ate lots of chocolate pudding because it's like, you know, yummy and full of sugar and, and fills it sometimes. fills you up, so yeah, lots of pudding, um, yeah, but it was, it was a pretty fun experience.
I'm Lexi Tellings, and this is Babylon Pop TV. You can catch all my music and updates um, on MySpace, Google, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for having me, guys. It's been great.